Good afternoon to everyone. I'm sure it's a post-lunch event. So a few of us might be you know, a little sleepy, but I'm sure the kind of insights which we are going to uh, share and the kind of interaction which we'll have will bring in a lot of energy into the rooms. Uh, we also have a lot of our scholars, and I'm sure they'll enjoy a lot uh, you know, from the perspective of what industry eminent speakers and leaders thinks about scholarship and mentoring uh, you know, as a part of their social initiative. So with that, um, it's a pleasure really to have uh, all our panelists and I'll invite one by one. Uh, so, firstly, I would like to introduce uh, Ms. Ritu Ghosh. Uh, she currently heads, uh, you know, corporate affairs and CSR at Panasonic. Uh, prior to uh, this, she was driving the policy and outreach initiatives for regulatory and external affairs team Vodafone India. Uh, she is a public policy expert with over 21 years of experience. Uh, she has been driving initiatives for adoption of information communication technologies as a transformational tool in emerging and developing countries. I would like to invite uh, Tara. Uh, so Tara Chand uh, currently works as head corporate social responsibility at Oknot India. Uh, most recently, Tara served as the head CSR India region for Moody's Corporation. Um, uh, he's a seasoned development professional with over 19 years of experience. Tara has a Master's of Art in Social Work from the University of Delhi and has received numerous awards and accolades for his contribution in the field of uh, social development. Uh, welcome, Tara. Yeah. Uh, next on stage, I would like to invite Dr. Akshita Vyas, uh, who is the uh, CSR lead at ZS Associates India Private Limited and also a key member of the ESG program at ZS. She has been awarded PhD in CSR and is also a certified CSR professional from the Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs. With over 10 years of experience in CSR and development sector, Akshita strongly believes in the power of individual social responsibility and volunteerism. Welcome, uh, Akshita, on the 11th anniversary of Buddy for Study. So the next is uh, Rajneesh Sharma. Uh, currently works as director CSR governance and operations in Make My Trip Foundation. Uh, he's driving responsible and sustainable tourism projects and analyzing policy matters uh, at MMT. Uh, before this, he has served Indian Army for 11 years, uh, and Rajneesh has completed his education from uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Technical University and also from IIM Lucknow. So welcome, a very warm welcome, Rajneesh. Uh, last but not the least, I would like to invite Kavita Sa, uh, currently works as Head Corporate Social Responsibility at CNH Industrial India. Prior to this, uh, she worked with ILNFS Education as head mobilization and post placement tracking. Kavita is a strong community and social services professional with a degree in MSc Agriculture. So welcome, um, uh, Kavita. So today on the special day of 14th November, which is also a children's day, uh, we are all here uh, to discuss about how scholarship and mentorship leads to success in a student's life and even beyond that. So, um, you know, at Buddy for Study, uh, we have created a scholar community of more than 46,000 scholars so far. And these scholars not only need the financial support which is required in the form of scholarships, but then also seek for a lot of uh, mentoring uh, which is required, gurus, you know, throughout their lives, because the kind of network they come from is certainly, you know, uh, they, they definitely seek for such advice from a lot of, um, uh, you know, professionals, those who have a lot of experience in the industry. So, uh, you know, um, so that they can really attain that happiness, that career excellence in their lives. 
Um, with our experience, we have found the most effective success formula for the students, which is uh, mentorship plus scholarship leading to uh, successship. So I'll just define two, three, uh, you know, these three elements in a little more detail. So when I say scholarship, scholarship is where, you know, you're supporting a child with the financial access. You're giving them a financial access, which is once a year. And, uh, you know, which is where the student is able to uh, kind of go out of that financial constraint, uh, which is actually um, uh, kind of not allowing the student to take the education. On the other side, mentorship is where it's a time investment is what we call it. And it's a continuous engagement with the students where uh, you are engaging them uh, through, our, uh, through the mentors and uh, uh, helping them excel in a very long term. So um, both of these, when combined, uh, leads to really a successful and a, a, you know, meaningful life uh, in their long-term futures. So I hope all these scholars here will agree to what I'm saying on how you know, scholarship and mentorship plays a very, very important role in their lives. So uh, now to begin with, uh, I would like to understand from each of our speakers here, you know, that uh, what has been your vision uh, behind designing a scholarship program. So probably I'll start with Kavita from there. Uh, Kavita, like CNH has been, um, you know, giving scholarship to girls, especially in the Delhi NCR region. And uh, uh, you know you have been supporting these students uh, for uh, for their uh, formal education. So, what was that thought process behind, and uh, what is your vision of a scholarship program looks like? Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for having me here, Neha, and team Buddy for Study. So, uh, as you all know, I mean Buddy for Study had been interacting with us for a long time since 2017, since I was on board. This was actually not a part of our theme. I mean, CNH Industrial works on four themes, which is like education, health, environment, and rural skill development. So when Buddy for Study had approached us, we never felt a need that we were needed to get into the space where we wanted to provide scholarship, because we had already adopted one school in Noida, and then we had also done a multimedia-aided school education for about 100 schools. So when the pandemic struck, and when we realized, I mean, a lot of potential, good uh, students or uh, families, I mean, they needed support and actually the students were for, uh, getting out of the formal education because there were loss of lives or loss of income. So that is when, as a team, we realized that we actually needed to step out and support them. And that is when we actually reached out to Buddy for Study saying that we would like to give this scholarship support to students so that they do not, they continue with the formal education because that is one thing which takes a hit when a family faces a financial crisis. Pe but the children are for the first ones to be pulled out of schools because that is a, an expense which the family thinks can be done away with because you need food and you need clothes. That is the major contributor, uh, contributor that the family thinks needs to have their financial contribution for. But we wanted the students to continue with the studies so that they come out from the formal education. Because if you do not support a child, they get into that vicious cycle of poverty. And we wanted to break that with this support. And that is how the thought has evolved from there, that we wanted to take this, this scholarship program forward with Buddy for Study. And it has been a good experience. And we hope to continue for a long time. Uh, thanks, Kavita, and I'm sure the Unnati Scholarship, a step towards future, is supporting a lot of students there in Delhi NCR in their education. Uh, Rajneesh, to you now. Uh, like, uh, uh, Make My Trip, though, you know, has been focusing a lot on the tourism, one of its kind program you started uh, on the scholarship when the COVID struck and uh, you supported students who were COVID affected. Uh, so that was the time when a lot of students were moving out of the schools and colleges because primarily because of the lack of funds and they have also lost few of the families like their parents, guardians, because of COVID pandemic. So what was your thought behind starting the program and uh, how, how do you uh, kind of define that the scholarship program really helped the students there? Well, you already answered the question by defining pandemic as uh, you know, the biggest crisis of our life across the world, country, wherever. And uh, so for us, I mean, we were trying to bring uh, you know, as many people back on track, right? Today, I guess education or absence of education is absence of opportunity, right? If you are giving the opportunity back to the student, 
irrespective of class, uh, you know, state and everything. This is the big, biggest thing that I could do during COVID. I mean, people were trying to survive. There were a lot of ecosystem to support survival. Uh, but, uh, you know, education was something which was, uh, you know, taking a back seat over a, uh, uh, like over the, you know, pandemic scores, uh, especially in the second wave and all the others. So this is what we, uh, you know, thought that, you know, uh, if as a foundation or as community, can we contribute to give the opportunity back to the people who need it? So it was all about uh, giving a chance to get back on track after, uh, you know, uh, getting derailed so much that, uh, you know, I mean, it shouldn't have a lifetime impact. So as much as we could, we uh, tried to do that. That was our cause. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think that uh, scholarship supported hundreds of students and still continuing supporting those students in their education. So uh, Tara, uh, you know, what has been your vision? You're kind of uh, coming up with a scholarship program uh, for students and you've been collaborating with government as well on these areas. So, you know, what has been your vision and the idea behind starting a scholarship program? Yeah, so Neha, I mean, we have been supporting education, you know, uh, primary education. Uh, but we realize that, you know, in states like Bihar or, you know, difficult terrains like Uttarakhand, their girls find it very difficult. You know, the parents, you know, generally don't want to send their children away from villages where, you know, where uh, uh, degree colleges are located. So uh, we thought, you know, uh, money could be a motivational factor for parents, you know, if we are providing a scholarship to these, uh, you know, meritorious girls, needy girls, then uh, uh, this can motivate their parents and they can send their daughters to, uh, you know, for higher education. So what we are giving, we are giving scholarships to, you know, girls only uh, in Jharkhand and Uttarakhand, uh, uh, where, you know, uh, where education labels are not not that great. Uttarakhand is in a in a way is is better off, but in Jharkhand, you know, literacy labels are not that great. It's, it comes second, you know, uh, after uh, Bihar. So uh, and and you know we we are promoting STEM education because you know it is it aligns with our business. Most of the workforce we get are you know uh, in, in one of our businesses, which is a software business. You know, there uh, most of the people are engineers. Uh, in our, you know, bank business, most of the people are from, you know, finance background, CAs or, you know, uh, CFAs. So uh, it aligns with our business, and also we are catering to the, you know, needs of the uh, people in, in in most backward regions. Like in Uttarakhand, we are covering the difficult terrains, high altitude areas, uh, where you know, not uh, and, and lot of people are not giving scholarships. And I was talking to Akshita, you know. Uh, uh, so <laughs> that's what we were discussing that in CSR people generally give funds in their surroundings we have our offices in Gurgaon Bangalore and Hyderabad but we are funding projects in in very remote locations so uh, for us the motivational uh, you know f factor is that you know we want to cater to the needy people who are genuine who genuinely require support so that has been the and I will talk about my journey you know I come from a village you know Ashutosh was talking about my name which is very traditional, you know, uh, his father's name was also Tarachan. S and, and, you know, when people, you know, uh, 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 come to know my name, they, s you know, say that, oh, this person must be of in, their s in, in, in his 60s or, you know, uh, late 50s. Uh, I come from a village, you know, and people used to keep traditional names where uh, I got a very small amount of uh, a scholarship, which was very, you know, uh, uh, small amount. And there was no mentoring. Uh, uh, and his scholarship amount was, was very less, which was not covering my, you know, even my uh, tuition fee. So uh, I came to Delhi. Uh, I got a mentor uh, who has done his master's in social work from Jamia Mila Islamia. Uh, he advised me that, you know, uh, you should, you should, you like, I was volunteering with that uh, non-profit and he advised me that I should uh, uh, opt uh, this, you know, a social service as as career, and I should uh, uh, make my career in, in in social work. So that's how we, he he guided me. He went to college. He you know uh, helped me in filling the form because my parents were you know not that educated. Uh, my mother is illiterate. My father was only you know uh, eighth. 
So uh, uh, scholarships, I got scholarships during my you know school. I got scholarship during my you know graduation and post graduation. So is I mean I was working as a photographer in weddings. I I have worked. I have taken up you know many other odd jobs. So uh, because the scholarship was not enough, what we are giving, we are giving thirty thousand. What I was getting, I was getting eight hundred rupees. You know, <laughs> so so uh, it makes lot of difference. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's very inspirational, Tara, to hear your story and the way scholarship and mentorship has played a very critical role in your life, shaping it up. And glad to know that you have chosen social sector as your career, and you are now actually giving it back to the community and helping ma many more Taras, uh, you know, in different geographies in India to really pursue their education. So that's very inspiring to know. Uh, to you, Ritu, ma'am, uh, I think you've been running a very special scholarship, which is uh, Rati Chhatra Scholarship. And uh, for everyone, uh, Rati Chhatra has been supporting IITians uh, in India uh, with a very, uh, very good amount of scholarship, more than 40,000 per year. And they give it for continuous support till they can continue their education. So, and this scholarship, when I was reading, I was astonished and amazed to know that this has been running since 2009. So that is almost 14 years you have been running this program. So ma'am, what impact uh, you have really seen this scholarship bringing where you are nurturing the most uh, you know, talented and uh, the brightest minds in India? So what has been your uh, thoughts and uh, you know, how, 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 how have you seen that impact uh, by giving and supporting so many st students in these many years uh, you know, where you have given this scholarship to? Thank you, Neha. So first of all, good afternoon, everybody. I would like to congratulate Buddy for study for their 11 years completion. Very congratulations. <laughs> Coming back to your question, Neha. Uh, so yeah, you're right. Uh, the first phase of the scholarship was since 2009. Second phase we started in 2015. And this year in the second phase, we'll be running the eighth edition of the scholarship. Awesome. So the thought process here uh, was, uh, to enable access to knowledge with equal opportunity. There should be no barriers uh, to access to knowledge and education. That was the uh, prime thought behind it. And uh, since it's been many years since uh, our journey for the scholarship program, I would like to reiterate here, yes, uh, with all due respect, it's financial support. But also, uh, it's an association, I must say. And as it's also reflected in the vision statement or the theme that you are picking up, scholarship plus mentorship is equal to success ship. This, that's why I call it an association. So over the years when we reached out to uh, different IITs, there are 23 IITs in the entire India. And there are certain IITs which are situated in the prime uh, towns and cities or the, which are capital city or some, some financial capital city. But there are certain uh, located in the remote areas also, those towns. So over the journey, we, our objective was that it's, it's not just that we are receiving so many number of applications. What about why are those uh, students in the IITs which are so-called remote or not accessible, why are these students not coming up for the scholarships? So we also had to build that association and mentoring them and educating them and reaching out to them that you please come out and this is something that's there for you. Secondly, also, needless to mention, uh, we saw that there were very less uh, women candidates, female candidates who were applying for this. So we went into that study and the background, is it that the uh, admissions to IITs from the women candidate is less or they are not opening up or what's the reason? So we also, in our journey, when we uh, interacted with different IITs, we sat there and we also put a desk there. These are the interactions and maybe also we did mentorship for the, the families uh, where more women candidates could take admission and also come out with that. Thirdly, uh, as I said, it's an association. So it, it was an association with the society. How is the society interacting with the education system or uh, their participation? And thirdly, obviously, uh, any candidate who uh, gets the scholarship then gets associated with us in terms of whether it's the communication skills, whether it's the soft skills or any other challenges they would face. We will, as you mentioned, that we are there for the scholarship for the entire tenure of their course. So whatever problem or difficulty they face, they can reach out to us. And I believe our objective of raising up this association uh, for this year was the reason to join with Buddy for Study 
uh, that we can raise up this uh, mentorship and make even more uh, meaningful impact. Also, <clears throat> another thing which I would like to share, I, I, I talked about the association with the community that you build up. Scholarship is also like a nudge. A nudge where a student feels that before I, am, I have to prove myself or maybe uh, proving may be a wrong word, but maybe it's a motivation when he clears the scholarship uh, journey and gets a scholarship, he already gets the feeling of that achievement, which even motivates him to perform uh, and also to excel in the entire course for which he's enrolling. So that's, those are the learnings in the long journey that we have had. Uh, thank you so much, and I can completely sense, uh, you know, with the conversation which we are having, each program which we discussed is completely unique in its own nature. Like we talked about CNH, which is for girls in Delhi and CR, then Make My Trip, which was specifically for the COVID-affected children. Then Oknoth is supporting in our remotest areas uh, for the girl education. Then uh, Panasonic has been, uh, you know, giving it to the IIT, and so. Each and every scholarship is so unique in its design and trying to support many millions of students uh, here in uh, India. So I think kudos to all of them where they're designing such unique programs uh, to support children. So uh, Akshita, uh, I mean from you, I would want to know more about on the mentoring piece, uh, you know, uh, where you have been uh, a supporter of volunteerism and uh, kind, of, kind of also trying to get more employees uh, being a part of the mentoring process. So, you know, where Ritu was also saying that students not only want a scholarship but also a mentoring support because they come from a background where they do not get a lot of opportunities or a network through which they can learn. So a mentor, I think, plays a very, very important role uh, in their life. So what do you think, uh, you, know, um, you know, what can be the key elements of a good mentoring program and um, can it really lead to employee satisfaction if we kind of uh, get more contribution from the employees also? So what's your view on that? Actually? Great. So thank you for the wonderful question, Neha. And uh, yes, I do believe uh, in the power of individual social responsibility. You know, all of us here are representatives of the corporate social responsibility program. But there's one thing which has been driving the entire uh, employee volunteering, you know. Uh, this is something which drives each and every one because, you know, I have, I think this is a common passion that all of us can share, you know, uh, supporting the community and uh, helping out the community uh, with uh, the kind of background we have either through our money, time and skills. And uh, through my own experience, I can tell you, you know, uh, even when I was not part of the CSR domain and while I was only doing my own MBA education, I was also teaching the underprivileged students. Because whenever I had some additional time in my daily routine, I used to spend that for those who are less fortunate. So that was my way of, you know, uh, even learning for myself. So you can also call this a very selfish act. You know, I will always call volunteering as a very uh, selfish act because I feel good. Uh, doing a volunteering and this makes me happy this makes me feel very content so i think you know uh, having this uh, driving force wherein you are able to make difference in somebody's life that actually adds into a very good employee satisfaction because the employees themselves they can feel okay i'm making profit i'm earning money i'm helping my company earn more profit but as an individual i'm actually helping somebody uh, change their life and make adding more meaning to their life. So I think, you know, employees have been contributing a lot. And if I specifically talk about uh, the volunteering we do uh, in ZS and for the scholarship program, which is Z Scholars, we, when we were designing the scholarship program, most of our leaderships were involved, you know, because that was the first uh, big CSR projects that we had. So having inputs from the people who are sitting on the top for the children who are going to be our future. That was a very key, uh, instru it was actually very instrumental for us to launch a very good scholarship program and we have kept a very open kind of a scholarship. So you know, regardless of what gender you are, it's open to girls, boys, and even the LGBTQI community, even they can apply for it. So we are targeting the segment which has been untouched. And apart from that, we have also kept it open for any education streams. So whether it is a BCom, it is an LLB, it is Medico, if you are in need of a scholarship, the platform is open for you. And I would really like to uh, put some thoughts on this, that you know, whenever we think about educational reforms, there are three important A's which have been very close to me and I think that play a key role in uh, changing the literacy scenario that is making education available, affordable, 
and accessible. So while all of us sitting here on the dais, we are somebody who can make the scholarship affordable, but organizations and edtech companies like Buddy for Study, you are making it available and accessible. So kudos to you and the entire Buddy for Study team for making that happen. So thank you. Thank you so much, Akshita. And uh, really, um, uh, I'm also on the same page that how uh, mentoring really plays a very important role. And we've been part of, uh, you know, even I have received a lot of mentoring while in my career and even till now. So uh, completely agree to uh, how mentoring really plays an important role. Uh, now moving on um, from Rajneesh, I would really want to know, you know, you have served Indian Army and uh, for 11 years, Rajneesh, I think a clap to him uh, where he has served Indian Army for 11 years. So I'm sure you must have mentored a lot of students, uh, I mean uh, people and you must have also got mentoring. So uh, what do you think are the key ingredients of a good mentor? I mean there are a lot of people nowadays who just do Google search and they say themselves as mentors. So uh, what do you think that are the key important pointers which a mentor should also keep in mind while they're giving mentoring to, um, uh, you know, their mentees? Well, I guess I should, uh, you know, give a little background to this. Uh, so my, I mean, like Tarachan sir, I mean, my father was also a villager. He joined, uh, you know, Air Force as a soldier. So from there, I aspired to, you know, uh, uh, fly a fighter aircraft to be a, an officer and other things. But, you know, the ecosystem that you grow in, the surroundings that you're supported with, uh, I mean, does it provide enough, uh, you know, guidance to you to uh, actually know what you aspire? And if you have aspired it right, uh, do they provide you enough mentorship to, you know, achieve it? Right? I mean, all the students that I see out here in my, you know, college, the places that I've served in Kashmir, all those people who were, uh, you know, kind of actually underprivileged, wherein the road access was not there, let aside the electricity and all the other things, because most of the things are connected with the, uh, you know, basic amenities like road hekini, all those things, right? So, uh, and I, uh, you know, personally believe that the real power is the power to choose anyone. I mean, I want to pursue, you know, BCom or BA. Do I have the power to choose? Right, BTEC or BSc? Do I want to, uh, you know, pursue this career or that career? That power to choose, that real power to choose, comes from the right information and right mentorship. Right. So that's how important is the right mentor, right surrounding, all those things. I have been benefited a lot. I mean, I tried a couple of things, I failed, and then I realized maybe this was not the right thing that I wanted. If someone would have told me in the beginning ki, please don't pursue this, maybe I would have, you know, pursued something else earlier and, you know, would have reached five years ahead of uh, where I am today. And, uh, you know, just quoting from the personal example, when I was posted in, um, in Kashmir, so we had a lot of uh, villages around. I was uh, the company commander of a place wherein we had 11 uh, panchayats in the vicinity. And, uh, you know, the problems that we face here, uh, in terms of growth, in terms of right package, in terms of right course, these are all immaterial over there because they are struggling for basic amenities like water, electricity and all other things. So we, uh, you know, as the unit over there, we used to go to different schools, tell them that please study at this. Uh, we used to have, you know, uh, the ladies of the battalion, the jawans of our unit to, you know, talk to them. Uh, we used to sensitize few elders in the society to pursue the right education, pursue the education, uh, you know, let aside the right or wrong all those things, right? So, I mean, I believe you, any individual should have the right information to gain that power to choose what he wants to do in life, what he or she wants to do in life. And uh, this is mentorship is all about. I mean, we are all, uh, you know, privileged lot if we are sitting here and discussing things and maybe, you know, uh, imparting the information or trying to, uh, you know, advocate thing A from thing B. But the thing is that, uh, you know, we have all somewhere, we are you know, thankful to few people or more, uh, you know, to make us sit here to, you know, talk about things that we talk about today and maybe, you know, uh, imbibe certain, you know, inquisitiveness in you to, you know, gain the right information, reach out to people, ask for help, and the people who are in the position to offer help, please offer help. That's, I mean, uh, that's my mentorship journey and maybe just two cents around this. Thank you. Absolutely. A clear message to a lot of our scholars here that, actually the power to choose and that one step to really 
come out and choose uh, a stream for you and then also have a mentor is definitely a game changer. Uh, so definitely, thanks a lot, uh, uh, Rajneesh. So Kavita, I think you've come from ILNFS where you've spent multiple years, um, you know, uh, kind of helping students, training them, uh, kind of making them ready for the livelihoods. So um, can you share a few of your experience that uh, if you have mentored someone and how that has really changed the life of that particular beneficiary? So I have a lot of stories and if I start, I will not stop. <laughs> So, impactful yeah, ones, so very impactful, impactful ones and as a mentor I think should first have a sense of empathy unless and until you understand what that other person is going through if you get into that skin of that person you would not be able to guide them so I have I mean I have done we have done a lot of training in diverse fe uh, backgrounds starting with Tihar and then also at the training institutes that we had, then going on to Barmer. Rajasthan, as you all know, is a very patriarchal society and you would not find women even working. There we have been able to train women to work as mason. Mason is who? I mean, someone who's that makes all your, I mean, the, wo aapka jo banata hai ghar var jo hai na, ek mistri jo hota hai. So that is a mason. Can you actually imagine a woman of Rajasthan working as a mason, building bathrooms under that Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. And that is how, as a mentor, I have been able to bring about that change there. So I would, that is one of my favorite stories. So I was there as a mobilization head in Rajasthan. And typically, typically when you do go, do this mobilization activity in villages, they are either in the morning or in the, in the evening when the farmers come back from the field. So. Over a period of two, three days while I was mobilizing with my team, I was the only woman in the team with all uh, male colleagues. So we would have these mobilization meetings from 6 till 10 in the night. So one day when I was sitting in a school, there were over 100 people sitting there and I was also sitting there and I said, why don't I see females, women coming here for the mobilization meeting? Don't they want to get any job? Don't they want to be employed? Because that is a, a need all across. So, a very elderly person said that no, women are safe, they are not safe. Then I, question, I just shot, questioned him back, said, I said, I am sitting here at 10 at night, the only female in about 150 males sitting with me. Am I not safe? It depends on the people she is also interacting with. So I said that you are coming to your house now, you are coming to your house, 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 you are coming to your house. तो भाई सुरक्षित नहीं है तो क्यों मैं सुरक्षित नहीं हूँ मैं तो तीन दिन से चक्कर काट रही हूँ राजस्थान के इंटीरियर्स के देन वन पर्सन गॉट अप आई सेड कि आप बहुत बड़ी बात कर दी कि हम हैं जो सुरक्षा की जिम्मेदारी लेते हैं कल से हम भेजेंगे एंड यू विल नॉट बिलीव आई मीन दैट वॉज बिकॉज आई वॉज एबल टू पॉइंट दैट एंड टच दैट पॉइंट वेर इट वॉज एक्चुअली ए पॉइंट ऑफ कंसर्न फॉर दैम द नेक्स्ट डे वी वर एबल टू क्रिएट over the next few days we were able to create a batch of 25 ladies to be trained as mason and they went around building bathrooms in Rajasthan. <laughs> then when we were, do, we were called at the Army Skills Center, and we were the first uh, implementing agency to be called to set up a training center at AWA. They said that we are going to start off with the Jawan's family because that is once in a lifetime opportunity that they get. They are planned, uh, posted here for the family posting and then the ladies will go back to their villages. So they should have some income earning opportunities when the Jawan's are in the field, they should also have some opportunity. So we had a very, I mean, auditorium full of, an army as we all know is very disciplined. So I went there with my team, I was heading my team, I was also into operations looking after Delhi, NCR and UP. So I went there with a lot of hope that this time I don't have to do any mobilization because the army has said that they are going to bring in the Jawan's wife there and we just have to go and explain the project and then program and then they will come on board. This was on a Saturday. On Monday we had an inauguration of that center which was to be inaugurated by General Darbil Singh Suhag. He was the army chief then and also the minister of uh, skill development and entrepreneurship Mr. Uh, Mr. Rudy. So, and every the scenario was set, the training center was met, we had been doing a lot of hard work get setting up the training center. And at ILNFS, uh, when we start off with the training, we have a counseling session. And then we also have an entry gate assessment, just to assess the aptitude of the person who wants to be trained. 
So typically for this Jawan's wife, we had these uh, trainings that we had emphasized that they were all going to be entrepreneurship model or something that they could work at home. So it was typically block uh, printing, self-employed tailor, and also uh, beautician training, and then as a hairdresser and data entry operator. So we explained, and then I, I said, OK, you have entry gate assessment. Ke liye aap log a and then we saw all these ladies sitting quietly not answering anything. So then I was like a little stunned. I said, Ki, aap log paper liji, aap kisme kisme, aap, aap ki ruchi kisme hai? No answer. Then I realized that there was some problem. Then I started going around to the groups. Then I said, Ki, aap yaha kyo aai? To ji, hame to CEO ki wife ne bol diya tha ki yana hai, to hum to aage. To aapko to training ke liye bulaya tha, to hum training to hume karna nahi hai. CEO sahab ki wife ne bola hai, to hum aage, hum kuch nahi karenge. Then I realized that, okay, then I have to get down to some other level. So I said, Ki aap yaha pe, aapke husband kitne baje jate hai? Nao baje chale jate hai. Bacche school kitne baje jate hai? Aad baje jate hai. Aap kya karte ho? Tab tak husband kitne baje jate hai? Bara baje. Aap teen ghande kya karte ho? So then I said, Ki aap ya to padosan se gap karte ho ge nahi? To TV dekhte ho ge, kaam to kuch karte nahi ho ge? To nahi. Then I said, ab ek baat batao, lipstick kharidne ka man ho, to aapko paisa mil jata hai turan. So, shanti. Then I said, if you want to go to a movie, then you can go to a movie, like your husband says, you get it immediately. They say, there is no ticket available. So, yes. So, I said, that when you are doing these skills training, then the government has also done this too, that you will give you computer training. Which means that you will know that you can go to the net and search for the ticket available or not. If you want to earn it yourself, then the lipstick will be paid for your money, and when you want to buy it, you will buy it immediately. So then they understood. So, ma'am, give us a paper, then we give an exam. Super. So, this is how you lead people. Yeah. So, you have to understand, you have to get down to their level to understand the value of what they are actually doing. So, you have to understand, you have to get down to their level to understand what they aspire for and how you have to actually motivate by understanding what they are going through. So, I could go on and on, but I would not like to go on. Thank you so much, Kavita. And I can completely sense that the way you have drove so many people and like a group mentoring here is what I can think of, you know, uh, influencing and creating a positive impact on a lot of uh, people's life through your oh, mentorship. And I would also like to add that Tihar has also been an eye-opening uh, mm. experience. So that whenever we went there for training, I would come back every evening and then get down on my knees and thank the Lord that I did not lose my mental balance for 10 seconds to get into that space. Mm. So where, when you get there, you realize how claustrophobic it is. And then you also realize that you need to help people come out when they come out on parole or when they're coming out, how they can be integrated into the society. So that is another chapter which can take on ours because it's a very favorite topic. So I would not like to get into it, but then please develop empathy for everyone. That is all we need. We have heard a lot of uh, you know, good insights from our panelists on scholarships, mentorship. I think we have few of our scholars here as well. Um, do we have Nikita here in the room? Sorry? We ha do have, right? So Nikita is one of our scholars of Buddy for Study. Uh, in 2019, she received Marubeni scholarship. And now she's working full-time with us uh, as a Buddy for Study employee uh, in the monitoring and evaluation team. So I would like to understand from Nikita, you know, what has been her experience when she has received scholarship and how that has been, you know, changing her lives and, uh, you know, what success she has got after receiving scholarship. So a few words from you, Nikita. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me on the stage first. Good afternoon, everybody present here. My name is Nikita Pal, as ma'am said, and yeah, I got Marubani scholarship in 2018, not 19. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that one scholarship not only gave me a like financial support, but somehow gave me a motivation and really gave me that confidence that I can do something better in my life. Yeah, I belong to a rural area. Uh, Sanewal district in Punjab and from where I was studying in government college for girls Ludhiana only and there I saw a dream of like to go in JNU so I made a preparation kiya for the JNU entrance and you will be good to hear that I am the first child in my family who did her PG for the very prestigious university JNU. Amazing. 
Yeah, so all these things, then I got uh, entered into JNU. Like, it's not that good because we are a COVID batch. We got on, like, get only one year in JNU campus. But that one year really involved me and evolved me like a great personality, great citizen, like in a better sense. And currently, uh, like I'm taking that gap this year. And in future, I'm approaching PhD from India or maybe uh, good like in somewhere else in a, 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 in foreign country in the like uh, development sector itself. And my particular sector is education sector. So hope so. I will get it. All the very best, Nikita. <laughs> yeah. For so all your scholarship not only give you financial support, like you can uh, be will become a like a inspiration for like a, uh, others also like in my uh, relatives also even in my family my sister like you are my inspiration and yeah kahin na kahin aap aage ja ke unko guide kar pate ho jab aapko cheezon ko pata hota hai kyunki bachche jo uh, jiske parents 10th pass hai plus 2 pass hai unko kya pata entrance hota hai ya kaise enroll hona hai in university mein and all that to kahin na kahin abhi bhi i'm like i'm guiding those students even in JNU currently, I'm serving in unnoticed organization for the construction workers ke students ko. Unko ham logo ne JNU ki, Jamia ki, due ki entrances ke liye prepare karaya jo plus two pass the. And yeah, one of them like got it finally in the BA course in Spanish. Lovely. So it might be a little change, but I'm feeling happy that we are creating some change. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nikola, for sharing that experience. Uh, we also have few of the other scholars. I think uh, I'll ask Dilip, uh, you know, whom I interacted just during the lunch break. So he's one of the, uh, you know, Colgate uh, Keep India Smiling Foundational Scholarship uh, and Mentoring Program scholars. So and he's uh, studying in DTU. Uh, he's doing his BTEC first year. So Dilip, how has, you know, you have also done few, L uh, you know, courses on LMS. So how has scholarship, I mean, how does scholarship or uh, mentorship se aapko kya fayda hua, kya, malab, uh, what is your experience after uh, getting that support? Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dilip, and uh, currently I am pursuing uh, BTEC first year in Delhi Technological University. I want to start with my story. So, when I was in the 10th class, I was studying in the newspaper. So, I saw the scholarship of Keep India Smiling Scholarship. So, I thought that when my result will come, I will apply for it. So, when I was in the 10th class, I got 90.2% percentage मतलब marks आए तो मैंने जब इसके बारे में search करा तो तो जब मैंने इसके बारे में search करा करा तो मेरे सामने buddy for study मतलब website आई तो मैंने देखा मतलब उसके मतलब मैं इस website पे गया और वहाँ पे मुझे मतलब मैंने keep India smiling scholarship search करी तो मुझे मतलब वहाँ पे मिली scholarship ये तो मैंने उसके लिए apply किया और finally मैं उसके लिए selected हो गया और इसके साथ साथ बड़ी फॉर स्टडी प्लेटफॉर्म ने मुझे मेंटरशिप भी प्रोवाइड करी जिससे मतलब हमारे फैमिली में ना कोई मतलब ऐसा नहीं है मतलब मैं मतलब माय मेरी मदर मतलब वो हैं मतलब पढ़ी लिखी नहीं है और फादर एट तक पढ़े हुए हैं तो ऐसी कोई मेंटरशिप नहीं थी तो बड़ी फॉर स्टडी ने मुझे मेंटरशिप भी प्रोवाइड करी है तो उसके लिए सबको थैंक्स और थैंक यू Thank you so much, Dilip. Thank you. Uh, Thank you story share करने के लिए and यहाँ पे बहुत सारे you know scholars हैं जो motivate होंगे and यहाँ पे बहुत सारे funders भी हैं जो शायद ज़्यादा motivate होंगे to support more and more students going forward. So thank you so much for that. Uh, so now, uh, you know, Tara, I would want to know from you that, you know, how do you define success uh, for this uh, youth generation of ours? So uh, what do you think? What is success all about? Uh, for me, you know, what I have seen and experienced, I mean, uh, these days money is very important, but the most important thing is 
to follow your passion. Uh, you know, uh, if you follow your passion, what you like, what you love, and do that, make your career in that field, then I think uh, uh, you will achieve success. Money follows, and 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 I'm experienced. You know, I have experienced this. I have friends uh, who were working with corporate houses. They left their jobs and they started their own ventures, and they have been very successful in you know what what they have done. So for me, I believe that you know. Uh, uh, Success is, you know, when you achieve your dream. So, you know, it is not uh, limited to money, but it is, uh, you know, uh, uh, linked to passion, what you like, what you love. Thank you so much. We have now defined all the three elements of our discussion, which was scholarship, mentorship, and success, right? So now I would want to combine all of these three into a single ship. Right? When I say ship, it's a long term, and like talking about 10 years and plus the impact. So um, Akshita, from you, you know, what are your thoughts on scholarship, this whole overall formula of scholarship plus mentorship leading to success ship? So I will obviously, you know, add to what Tara has already mentioned that, you know, you need to follow your passion, you know, love what you do, do what you love. And uh, I think there's one more addition to the entire formula, you know, scholarship plus mentorship is not only equals to success, but it also brings a very good leadership. I mean, see the uh, both the students who have come here and have spoken. I mean, what amazing confidence they have. So kudos to all of you scholars, you know, because each one of you, aap log, अपने आप में ही एक एग्जाम्पल बन चुके हैं ऑलरेडी आपके गांव के लिए आपकी फैमिली के लिए आज आपको देख के हो सकता है आपके ही गांव के और बहुत से बच्चे जिन्हें उनके पेरेंट्स एंकरेज नहीं कर रहे थे पढ़ाई करने के लिए उन्हें उनके पेरेंट्स अब एंकरेज करेंगे सो आप लोग ऑलरेडी एक अच्छे लीडर बन चुके हो और आपकी सक्सेस जैसे कि तारा सर ने कहा कि इसमें नहीं है कि आप कितना अर्न करेंगे अल्टीमेटली बट आपकी सक्सेस इसमें कि आप कितने अच्छे इंडिविजुअल बनने वाले हैं आप कितना अच्छा एग्जाम्पल सोसाइटी के लिए सेट करने वाले हैं सो आई थिंक विथ स्कॉलरशिप एंड दी राइट मेंटरशिप आप लोग एक बहुत अच्छा लीडरशिप का एग्जाम्पल सेट करने वाले हैं फॉर दी नेक्स्ट जनरेशन एंड फॉर द पीपल हु लुक अप टू यू सो जरूरी नहीं है कि आप बहुत सक्सेसफुल बन जाएंगे कोई जॉब पे लगेंगे और जब बहुत पैसे कमाएंगे तभी आप एक अच्छे लीडर बन सकते हैं आपके अगर विचार अच्छे हैं अगर आपके इरादे अच्छे हैं आप ऑलरेडी एक अच्छे लीडर हैं सो ऑल द बेस्ट आप सभी को इन बींग अ वेरी गुड सक्सेसफुल लीडर सो या दैट्स दी फॉर आई थिंक यू हैव एड अनदर एंगल ऑफ लीडरशिप व्हिच इज सर्टेनली वेरी रेलेवेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हैयर थैंक यू सो मच अक्षिता ऋतु यू सेड दैट यू नो यू हैव बीन फोकसिंग ऑन मेंटरशिप एज वेल एंड यू नो बीन गिविंग स्कॉलरशिप सिंस मेनी इयर्स सो व्हाट आर योर थॉट्स ऑन दिस ओवरऑल फॉर्मूला दैट हाउ डज इट रियली लीड टू सक्सेस शिप शो आई वुड लाइक टू पॉइंट वन थिंग हेयर एंड एज कविता जी वाज टेकिंग एग्जांपल्स the key pointer there was uh, make it matter so whichever uh, segment whichever individual uh, you are dealing with or you are enabling has to make it matter and secondly the term which i have already used uh, mentorship these days especially where technology and so much of awareness is already there there i believe uh, if we are enablers where we keep opening the doors of access to different things i think then we have done the true uh, mentorship uh, once you make it matter to them and you become the enablers i think for them sky is the limit i'll i'll take an example although um, i've done mentorship both uh, technology has been at the core of whatever uh, csr or sustainability programs i've been associated with and the very first uh, where even uh, i was not even related to csr but i was given this responsibility because i'm driving many programs with the government those were the times uh, some roughly 24 years back when there was a technological revolution and member of parliaments were given laptops and those laptops uh, costed in lakhs then and i was given a task i mean very initial task myself also i was not even in a role of a person to play a mentor that ye to bik jayenge ab ye to ab nahi hai kaise retain karna hai and i used to do technology training so i was blessed that my uh, mother um, uh, was a hindi teacher so my she used to keep telling me hindi terminology 
I uh, changed the entire curriculum and I uh, delivered the entire curriculum of uh, office tools to the member of parliament in Hindi. And, <laughs> and the, uh, my seniors were standing outside glass doors and they were looking at laptop pe to chalni shuru ho hai. And so it's make it matter, enable them. When they taught them in Hindi, relating to the examples, and I think that was the first uh, lesson for myself also, that if you have to enable them, make it matter. So that's the true thing. Because you can't define their limits, they know their limits. Uh, you just have to keep enabling them so that they become a better versions of themselves tomorrow. Whatever they are today, plus one, plus one, plus one. And it's up to them whether they want to take it plus two, plus three, plus four, just leave it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I think we're hearing a lot of good and interesting stories. I hope the audience is also liking it. A, a huge round of applause if you are liking the conversation. <laughs> Great. So now I can sense, you know, we were discussing that post-lunch conversations are not so good, but I can see that, you know, everyone is enjoying it. <laughs> good, good. So uh, I think moving next, Ritu, to you only, the next question is that, you know, what is one advice or message you would want to give to anyone, be the indi individual or a corporation, you know, starting a scholarship or a mentorship program? What is that one message? And I know you've been linked to technology and that has been your core as well. So uh, what is that which you would want to kind of uh, give a message to the others? So uh, three elements which are, which are very necessary. Uh, one is have a long-term vision for any search program that you're starting. Uh, stay committed and have patience. And uh, very important, one should have a holistic approach. Uh, it's uh, not uh, how much are you uh, providing as in support in financial terms, but it is how much holistic approach and commitment that you can give. That's it. Thank you so much for that. Um, anything, uh, any message from you, Rajneesh, on... Uh, so Tara, yes, you were saying yeah, something, I please. Add, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, you know, when you are designing a, s a scholarship program, I think uh, people should also do some research, you know. They should also look at the, you know, gaps we have, you know, where is the need. And like, you know, we discussed with the government, we sat with the education department, we took their views, we did online research, and based on the you know, our assessment that where are the gaps, you know, we started this uh, program. So I think uh, it is also important to do a research and f find the gaps. You're very right in saying that, Tara. And in fact, uh, like Buddy for Study has been working with hundreds of corporates now in the scholarship domain. And we've seen, um, you know, many of these scholarships are based out of real research and need where uh, during crisis, so, you know, when we started COVID crisis scholarship, uh, when we saw so many students who are really looking forward for the need and uh, we received so many requests, as, uh, we started our own initiative of Jyoti Prakash Scholarship. This was internal to Buddy for Study where we thought we will help based on the need which we identified as our platform you know and when we started that um, uh, in few months itself we started in the first wave and in few months we uh, you know when we told this to a lot of our partners uh, they really kind of believed and they kind of supported more and more students so we uh, we were joined hands with a lot of corporates in the likes of Aditya Birla Capital Kotak uh, Education Foundation, uh, HTFC, uh, Make My Trip. So um, I'm sure the need, uh, you know, was one driving factor for all of these corporates and organizations to really uh, design such program. And happy to say that, you know, we supported, I think, more than uh, 50 crores, roughly 50 crores, which we um, uh, disbursed as a scholarship amount for the COVID-affected children there. More than 6,500 students were supported just because we identify the right need at the right time. So yeah, I completely agree to what you say. So uh, Rajneesh, uh, I think one question to you will be that, you know, what will be that message to the students uh, who are really facing that, uh, you know, financial crisis, and, uh, but they're, they're still determined to really pursue their education. So what is that one message you would want to give to a lot of our students there? Well, see, if it is absence of uh, financial assistance, then a platform like Buddy for Study is the right platform. I mean, uh, so I'll just compare two things. Uh, like 20 years back, as ma'am told, and we all agree to it, that it was, you know, absence of information totally. There was no Google, right? Even if there was someone who could offer you some financial assistance, there's no bridge. 
but now it is right we are you know leveraging the technology uh, today at the other platforms we do have newspapers access to newspapers those times it was also inaccessible for all of us rather internet it is free almost free right uh, broadbands you know penetration into the villages tier 2 tier 3 cities and even in the remotest places like baramula and all it's adequately you know available internet bandwidth please access technology reach out to people post a question read rather than you know i mean the generation is such that insta reels and you know youtube and facebook and all please don't waste your time on that find the right uh, technological solution you will find a way i mean you should have to be you know determined seek for help you will get it if you imagine or if you assume that you will not get it you will never get it it is always a no right absolutely savita any uh, message from your end to the students uh, you know who are facing uh, financial problems and still uh, really looking forward to continue their education so education is the only thing that is going to lead you into light from the darkness that you are facing at this moment i mean the reason that why we wanted to support is because we also realized that that is the only light which is going to light up our world and you are the future students are the future and we need them to excel and we don't need them to give up their motivation just look at the light at the end of the tunnel and know that the education will only lead you to a better life and as rajnesh said that there are a lot of uh, there is a lot of information available all of you have phones everyone has ac access to technology if but if a study is not there someone else is also going to be there to support you and there are people actually with good hearts out there corporates with their hearts in the right places who want to support people so be knowledgeable on that front and everything will fall into place definitely so uh, i'll add something please so see uh, from absence of information to too much of information so too much of information is also very risky you really have to be you know focused what you want to search where do you want to seek the help right i mean you these days you put anything on google it will give you 100 or maybe 10 pages of answers right so please be very very uh, careful what you seek absolutely. for absolutely and i think that's where buddy for study uh, platform you know what we have built up is to ensure that we curate all the informations at one place we have more than 6500 plus scholarships listed across domains across classes and a student can search depending upon their you know class their gender their location and it gives you those uh, very relevant information uh, uh, handy uh, for the students to come and apply so yeah definitely so i think just uh, before we wind up couple of more things here um, so uh, like tara what are your thoughts on what buddy for study should be doing in the coming years you, you have been connected uh, you yourself has been a scholar and a mentor uh, also taken uh, mentoring so uh, what are your thoughts just very generic that what buddy for study should focus on in the coming years yeah so one thing is that you know you can uh, do a lot of research you can publish you know where are the gaps and you know when you are proposing to corporates you can you know uh, uh, provide them very solid you know uh, data points that you know why uh, they should support a particular area so i think that would be good uh, for buddy study uh, for, for uh, you as well and for the corporates as well so this is one thing and maybe you can you know focus on mentoring as well more you know uh, because what i see you know uh, more than money money does matter you know uh, but more than money mentoring is Absolutely. what uh, matters you know i was working as a photographer wedding photographer i did i worked with the part time imrb indian market research bureau uh, i was earning money but there was no mentoring you know there was no mentor to guide me what to do what not to do so that becomes very challenging so i think you know if you can focus more on you know uh, uh, asking employees or you know uh, to volunteer and be mentors to 
and you can focus on mentoring program i think that yeah, would be great we have started great. a journey yeah. a long yeah. way to go for us as yeah. well <laughs> but yeah we have started a journey where we are trying to give mentoring through a open platform as well like anyone uh, from not only from the body for study ecosystem but anyone can come and join we have few um, partners like mindtree uh, credit so is they take open uh, mentoring even l'oreal uh, you know did a very wonderful program recently and they're still ongoing where they are giving mentoring to students and that's pan india open for anyone no questions asked so we are, because we understand and we really see that need uh, of mentoring for these children because not everyone can get a scholarship so like there are 47 lakh registered students on buddy for yeah. study however only say 50000 odd students will get scholarship that's just 1% so if we can give the right mentoring so that the students are still motivated and get the right path to really pursue their education is what really our objective and mission is as well yeah maybe i think uh, some kind of you know volunteering initiative you can yes uh, we'll definitely start, look you into know, like uh, 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 government of delhi is doing business blaster where you know asking mm. they are asking uh, you know uh, 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 professionals or you know entrepreneurs to uh, mentor the uh, business blaster uh, students mm. the groups they have formed so that way i mean you can start some kind of program where people can you know nominate themselves to be mentors to you know students who have taken up engineering or you know some other you know courses thank you so much yes. for that advice and yes please so i mean adding to what body for study can do maybe you can also have a community of your scholars who can be mentors for other students like what we used to do we there was a himayat program in jammu and kashmir mm -hmm. which was a skill development program and the idea was to integrate those people into the mainstream because at i mean earlier 10 years back there was a lot of isolation so when we started training there i mean we trained about 750 people and then they were all offered job because the school education is quite good and we had trained them as like call center operators and they all got employed with Airtel and Vodafone in Chandigarh. All the people accepted and 750 people came, only around 30, 40 were left and they all went back after 15 days. They were not able to adjust. So in that group, there were only two girls who were there and they had to, their families had to fake, uh, face a lot of backlash. You know, people used to say that to me, and they persisted. They said that we are going to get into, do this job and then go back. They went back during Eid with lots of gifts and all stuff for their parents. And when the parents, I mean, the villagers saw that, they asked the girls where they got trained and how they were faring in the job. So they were the ones who also act, acted as motivators. The beneficiaries, the students who are benefiting, they can also be a good platform for you to mentor the other people. Because as Akita said that, I mean, she was the first one from her family to come and get educated at JNU. There would be other people in our village looking forward to her guidance. So her responsibility doesn't stop at getting a good education or going to a foreign university. Her responsibility is to get more girls like her into JNU or into maybe other colleges so that they can realize their dreams. No, absolutely, that's bang on, uh, Kavita. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have a huge scholar community and uh, we are seeing that how we can uh, get these scholars as mentors and we are still trying to, the, the community is growing so fast, so we have to really develop some technological intervention there. And thank you so much for those inputs and I'm sure the team will get more um, motivation now and a, you know, proof of concept where definitely this is something which we really need to look upon in the years to come. Uh, see, I know the time is up i know we are already running late but i'm literally enjoying this conversation so uh, so we have a special message uh, you know uh, from one of our very uh, you know senior stakeholders uh, team do we uh, have that clipping can we kind of really project that so uh, I had a good conversation last evening with uh, Ms. Poonam Sharma. She heads CSR and sustainability for Colgate. She couldn't come in person. She's in Mumbai. So we had a quick uh, conversation. And if we can play you know, five minutes on what her message is and what are her thoughts on this scholarship plus mentorship uh, leading to successship, a quick uh, view there. Uh, can we increase the voice? unable to hear that.
partnerships, human resources, diversity and inclusion, uh, and government relations. So a uh, heartily welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Neha, and thank you. So we have with us uh, Ms. Poonam Sharma, who is the head of CSR and sustainability at Colgate Palmolive. Uh, she's, uh, a she's a passionate, passionate and impact-driven impact professional with 25 years of rich and varied experience in the social, uh, uh, you know, corporate social responsibility, sustainability, partnerships, human resources, diversity and inclusion, uh, and government relations. So, a uh, heartily welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Neha, and thank you for accommodating uh, in today's schedule. And uh, congratulations to Buddy First Study for completing 11 years. 11 years means a, a, a big journey. And uh, I have seen, you know, in the past couple of years how Buddy First Study has evolved. So I'm, I'm very happy to have this conversation with you today. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind words. So to begin with, uh, in your leadership, ma'am, Colgate Parmolive has been focusing uh, both on uh, academic scholarship as well as uh, mentorship uh, under the Colgate uh, Keep India Smiling Foundational Scholarship and Mentoring Program. So, ma'am, how do you see this combination uh, to be more effective, you know, a combination of mentoring plus uh, scholarship, uh, you know, uh, has been more effective uh, rather than having uh, individual programs on scholarship or mentoring? So, any views and thoughts on that as a combination that how scholarship plus mentorship has been leading to success in case of Colgate? First of all, I, I, just I just simply, simply love, love this idea, idea, you know, the yeah. mentorship, mentorship and, scholarship and scholarship is equal to success. And, and this I idea was originated in one of the Colgate uh, meetings which we were having. So from there, that got originated and we came up with this formula. Study, uh, for this scholarship program along with our uh, Shikshadan Foundation. Uh, so this, the name itself, Keep India Smiling, Foundational Scholarship and Mentorship. So. We had a relaunch of Keep India Smiling Mission, which celebrates optimism. So the idea behind was that there are many, many students, you know, who aspire, who have potential uh, uh, and who want to grow. But unfortunately, uh, financial constraints sometimes, you know, uh, are not allowing them to fulfill their dreams. And also, and also, it's also, also very important, important that, that along, along with the financial, financial constraints, they come they from very humble, humble families, families, backgrounds. backgrounds. Uh, uh, I mean, our, our scholarship program, program is both in rural as well as, well as urban, urban areas, area, so, so the exposure, exposure levels, levels are very are less. less. Mm -hmm. uh, parents, parents are also, are also either, you know, less educated, educated or, or not, not ha they don't have much of exposures. So while scholarship, you know, fulfills that, foundational need because you know you need some money to progress your education or your career uh, or some course but at the same time uh, the guidance and that some enabling coaching that's also very very important for uh, these youngsters because uh, i mean i i truly believe and i when i go back in my you know school college days academically i've done very well but I, I still feel that if I had a mentor that time, maybe, you know, I would have done something different at very early age of my life. So I, I believe, I think mentorship is something which is uh, very, very rewarding for mentees as well as for mentors. I mean, it's a continuous two-way learning process. So that's why, you know, this scholarship and mentorship. Thank you so Thank much, you so team. Much. I think yeah. in the interest of time, of time, I think uh, definitely scholarship and mentorship. Uh, is I think in the interest of time, uh, we'll wrap this up here. Uh, and I'll open up to the audience for a few questions if they have any for the panelists. Just five to ten, five minutes um, Q&A, &A, and then uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Any questions from anyone? I think, yeah, it's, it's post-lunch now. I can sense that. <laughs> yes. So no question means either you understood everything or nothing. <laughs> so we'll take the first one, rather. Sir, sir my question is, every, all of you, like, 
can you share your journey like how you keep yourself motivated to help others and like like you are supporting one all of us like providing scholarship and mentorship so in some point of time you also get demotivated so how you keep all of you keep like keep motivating and supporting us like any journey like any special moment of your life you want to share with us आपका नाम क्या है वट इज योर नेम माई नेम इज दीपक कुमार एंड आई एम आई थर्ड ईयर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड डी टी यू डेली टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी थैंक यू दीपक दीपक इसका आंसर बहुत बड़ा हो सकता है बट आई थिंक आई जस्ट यू नो इन इन द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ टाइम कीप इट वेरी वेरी ब्रीफ विवेकानंदा ने बोला था बहुत पहले कि यू नो डू वट एवर इन द डे नेवर मिस द one conversation with one person in a day that may be the best one that you could have had that is with yourself right so if you are having a true and honest conversation with yourself on daily basis you will never be demotivated number one because you only know where do you want to go aap kitni mehnat kar rahe ho jitni chahiye utni nahi kar rahe ho right aapko kahan pahunchna hai how are you, you now placed with others are you utilizing the resources which are already available to you we know every answer you know within ourselves just have that conversation rather than having those negative conversation with yourself if you are true to your yourself on daily basis there is no question of getting demotivated i guess i mean uh, otherwise there are different yeah. you, <clears throat> if i understood your question correctly uh, you asked us that the journey that we are into in this social space what keeps us motivated and do we ever get demotivated correct ye aapka sawal hai agar mujhe theek samajh mein aaya okay to iska answer ye hai ki yes we do get demotivated and that demotivating factor is when we are not able to create the impact of our journey for which we started and this demotivation then further acts as a motivator when we ask ourselves a question why not that impact that's the answer थैंक यू सो मच एंड हम लोग सी एस आर स्पेस में काम करते हैं और जब हम बेनिफिशरीज से मिलते हैं आप जैसे बेनिफिशरीज से मिलते हैं तो जितना भी डिमोटिवेशन होता है ना वो अपने आप जो है वो चला जाता है और यू नो पीपल लाइक यू मोटिवेट सर्स वेन वी गो टू विलेजेस वी वेन वी गो टू रिमोट एरियाज वेयर वी मीट दी बेनिफिशरीज यू नो वी गेट मोटिवेशन फ्रॉम देयर that's why I, you know most of the time i prefer to you know going to the uh, field not sitting in the office because we get our motivation from the field not in the office hey so uh, with that note that buddy for study is actually thriving to empower one crore students by 2030 with the help of scholarships mentorship uh, and career guidance and the kind of uh, insights which we have got from this panel will certainly help us reflect around those areas and um, further strengthen our mission to support more and more students uh, in the coming years uh, so i would i think uh, invite uh, ashutosh on the stage to uh, give the token of appreciation to all our panelists here please till when we are uh, fi fixing this topic scholarship plus mentorship equal to success ship and yesterday when we are working upon these documents of all these what you are seeing here so uh, we we were writing uh, 46000 uh, underprivileged student we are supporting and it got me that uh, the moment you touched a life with a scholarship they are not any more underprivileged so uh, very first uh, you all are privileged student first so cheers and also thank you each one of you for making these lives privileged and giving them confidence and one more point uh, because a very lovely uh, top discussion and and uh, examples so mentoring is not like uh, which a senior experienced person which is giving to a junior inexperience or maybe a student it's also a vice versa when a mentor gives mentoring to someone he also reflecting on the situations various situation which he has never been been before so it's kind of i think it's also a learning on the other side so uh, it's it's actually a scholarship plus mentorship is both the side the the benef the the beneficiary the the person both it's actually i think both on the same page both are learning and this mentorship thank you
So thank you for this all uh, lovely session.